Stem cells have been credited with many medical breakthroughs, and now comes the possibility of helping those living in a vegetative state. Local 10 medical specialist Christy Kruger has details in our HealthCast. Well, you know what? This breakthrough really happened almost by accident. It's really cool. Dr. Dalip Yavagal, who's an interventional neurologist with the University of Miami Miller School of Medicine, has studied the use of stem cells in stroke victims and seen real improvement. Well, when the family of a patient in a vegetative state asked for his help, he got approval from the Food and Drug Administration to try out the stem cell procedure for compassionate use. Although we have not seen a dramatic improvement uh, this patient has actually had an improvement in, in her tone, uh, in her central tone, so she's now able to sit up, uh, whereas previously she had uh, no tone and had to be held and supported for, for even sitting up. She was pretty much bed bound. Dr. Yavagal says brain imaging also showed a dramatic improvement in the flow of water in the brain, which is a reflection of electrical signal function actually improving as well. And the use of stem cells for patients with brain injuries and other mental issues really is in its early stages. But boy, it is showing promise. Also in today's HealthCast, the continuing push for colon cancer screening with an option that may be a little easier for you to take. A home test called the Fecal Immunochemical Test, or FITS test, that checks for blood in the stool. And if we do have a positive FIT testing, you know, your doctor will tell you, you know what, we need to take a look inside your colon to find out what it is. It's not always cancer. Uh, it just tells us there's blood there and we need to, so you need another step. Dr. Brenda Jimenez with the Cleveland Clinic Florida says tests are covered by insurance and are considered pretty accurate. And the gold standard though you should know for colon cancer screening remains a colonoscopy which can detect and treat even precancerous lesions before they become life-threatening. So important. And one final health note out of the University of Miami Miller School of Medicine again, and this one will make you want to hit the gym tonight. A study released just a short time ago shows that exercise slows the aging of the brain by about 10 years. We're talking about people over the age of 65 who get regular exercise. Neurologists here in South Florida found that working out helped protect the brain and helped men and women keep their cognitive ability as well. The more rigorous the exercise, the better the results. So get out there, jog, Zumba, maybe go for a bike ride. It's good for your body and your brain. And that's today's HealthCast.